Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Afrero Laser 2, and we're going to cut some gaskets. I'll tell you what I got. I got a water neck gasket and a little Briggs & Stratton carburetor gasket. I'm getting these pictures off the internet. You can take a photograph of them, but it's easier if you get a good flat picture off the internet to do it. And I'm going to be using the Laser GRBL program. Uh, to edit this to, and to size it and all of that. When I'm going to cut with the laser, I take my plywood grid out and then what I install is my old oven rack up under it. And let's just see if I can do this the least destructive manner. And so that gets my uh, gasket material up off the tabletop and I space the cutting head appropriately to get a proper focus point for cutting and so that works really well. So here I'm starting and after I've downloaded my picture I uh, go to file, open and so we've got a nice, nice image right there, if you can see that. And we don't have to do any adjustments. We want it on uh, vectorize. Okay, they call this the width. That's like 101.2. Now I'm ready to kind of do some testing to see if... Uh, this is going to work the way I want it to work. All right, right now we're not cutting anything. We're just doing a visual, making sure that uh, the laser is going to be cutting where I want it to. So now I'm going to put my safety glasses on. I'm going to go up here and press the green button, and we're going to start cutting. And it's done. So let's say you have an old Briggs and Stratton carburetor. You know, though, uh, I'm not sure if it's Flowjet, something like that. You know, it's got the bowl, big bowl, got the four screws that hold it on there. And uh, this gasket's tore up, like they always tear up and they're leaking and the top's warped and all that. But anyway, you need a gasket. So what I did is I, I went to the internet, found a picture and emailed it to myself. And I cropped it like I did before on my phone. And so here we got it right here. So now I'm going to open up the laser GRBL. First I'm just going to make sure it's going to be within the frame. And it's not cutting right now, it's just going to show me where it's going to cut it. So I can make sure that I'm not running off my gasket or running into another area where I already cut it. So we're in our frame, not running off the paper anywhere. So let's cut a gasket. Pressing the green arrow and we're gonna go.
and there we're done. All cut out. Well, here's our gasket that we just cut. And what I'm going to do is uh, show you how well it fits on this old carburetor base. Holes line up and everything. Using my laser, I was able to cut out some gaskets. A little uh, water neck gasket, a little lawnmower carburetor gasket. And I tell you what, this is worth a lot when you have uh, taken something apart and uh, you need another gasket and you need it right now. So anyway, this was a simple way to cut these out. Now that I have these files created, I can cut them out as many as I want. So anyway, I thought this was fun. I was glad to be able to do it and it wasn't that much work. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.